Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video where today we are going to be looking at and reviewing this monitor right here. This is a 27 inch iCare HDR monitor from BenQ. So I've actually had this monitor for a couple of weeks now and I have to say it's a really really nice monitor. I've been using it a lot as a second monitor for my laptop and it has a lot of features and before we go any further, this isn't a paid video, this is not a sponsored video or anything. These guys asked me to do a review of this product, but I'm not getting paid to create this video. So this is my kind of true and unbiased opinion of this monitor. So there's actually a lot of features built into this monitor. So without further ado, what features does it have? The BenQ EW277 HDR monitor has a full HD 1920x1080 screen at 27 inches. It's HDR meaning you get high dynamic range, a superior 3000 to 1 contrast ratio, 400 nits of peak brightness and a wide colour gamut covering 93% of the DCI-P3 and contains built-in sensors for automatic brightness and colour temperature adjustments to take care of your eyes whilst using it. It also contains two HDMI inputs and one VGA. So what does all that mean? Well, let's start off with the basics. It's a 27 inch screen, so it's a nice big screen. It's 1920 by 1080 resolution, which basically means it's full HD, but unfortunately no, it's not a 4K monitor. Now the design of this monitor is actually really, really nice as well. The main thing what I like about it is it has a nice thin bezel around the outside, so it makes it feel like the screen goes edge to edge basically, and it doesn't seem too big and clumpy and clumpsome while sat on a desk. It has like a, a brushed sort of plastic feel to it, so it doesn't feel as nice as like an aluminium kind of finish like my MacBook here. But I think it looks nice and it doesn't seem to in your face on a desk. It stands pretty good and sturdy as well. You can tilt the screen back and forth. But one thing I have noticed is if I'm typing, it seems to wobble quite a lot. Now, I don't know if that's just because of the desk I'm using it on, but it seems to be quite wobbly. Also, unfortunately, the monitor doesn't have a visa mount, which basically means you can mount this monitor without the need of buying an adapter. And the screen actually has intelligent eye care, which basically means it takes care of your eyeballs through long use, which might make your eyes feel fatigued and damaged and stuff. And it has built-in sensors, which can kind of pick up the color temperature or brightness of the room, and it will change the screen accordingly to help fatigue of eyes for long, prolonged use and stuff, which I think is a very, very good thing because this day and age, we are staring at screens all the time, all day, we're jumping from phones to laptops to TVs to computer monitors and stuff. So to have something which actually intelligently changes through the lighting and colour to help protect your eyes and help fight against fatigue, I think is a very, very good thing. The screen is also flicker free and you can choose between four different low blue light settings, again to help protect your eyes from office to multimedia to web surfing and reading. Everything here is to basically help protect your eyeballs. So the VA panel provides some great colour and contrast on the screen, but one thing to remember is if you're using the Brightness Intelligent Plus technology, the actual colours you see on screen might not be a true representation of the actual colours you want. This is due to the low blue light mode and the added warm colours into the image. So if you use the screen to edit colour, you might want to turn this feature off. And you might have noticed with the name of this monitor and this little bit down here it says that it is a HDR monitor. Now, what is HDR? HDR means high dynamic range and HDR video and HDR photography are kind of two different things. So we're talking about HDR video. So HDR in screens is all about how bright those highlights are and how dark those shadows are. It's all about how realistic the image looks on the screen and how natural it looks to the human eye. Now, one thing to remember is not everything is HDR and only a few services offer HDR, such as a few shows on Netflix, a few shows on Amazon, and you need to have like a UHD player, such as the Xbox One S to view HDR content. So not everything you look at will be HDR. So basically, the majority of people who use a monitor like this won't be viewing anything in HDR. And this is basically because the source has to be HDR. If your screen is HDR and the source isn't, you can't view a HDR image. So basically, it goes back to the day and age of where we were getting HD TVs. If you had a HD TV, but the input you were watching was just a standard definition, 
Just because you've got a HD TV doesn't mean that you're going to be viewing things in HD because the source you are watching it is standard definition. The same goes for HDR. You have to be watching a HDR source to be able to view something in HDR. Now, I know this is all sounding quite confusing and that's because HDR is still in its infant stages still and some companies claim that their product's HDR where they claim others aren't and there's different alliances who have created certain standards to hit to become HDR, there's HDR, there's HDR10, there's Dolby Vision and now just to make the matter a little bit more confusing this screen has a HDR emulator as well which basically means that it will change the image which is on screen as if it was a HDR image. So it will try making dark as dark, it will try making the hotspots brighter and stuff and change the actual colour of the image to seem more realistic and more natural and stuff even if the source you are viewing isn't HDR. So if you're just watching any old video on the internet, it will try to emulate a true HDR image. Okay, so let's not get too caught up in the HDR side of this monitor. Let's go back to the resolution. And like I just said, no, it isn't a 4K resolution, which is a little bit of a disappointment with everything becoming 4K now as a standard. And with phones and cameras and stuff, everything shooting in 4K, it would be nice now to actually purchase a monitor which can offer the resolution of 4K so you can actually view those images and those videos in true 4K and unfortunately this doesn't do that because it's only a 1080 monitor. Now one thing I was quite surprised about with this monitor is it has two built-in speakers on the back. Now don't get your hopes up, they don't sound amazing. So you probably won't want to be listening to music or playing games with those speakers but they work perfectly well as a normal kind of everyday use speaker so error messages and stuff they work absolutely fine but you will probably want to use some actual speakers or Bluetooth headphones or something whilst using a monitor like this but you wouldn't really expect that a monitor like this would have good speakers so you've probably got other means for good audio. Now a lot of people who are watching this video right now are probably into gaming whether that's PC gaming or console gaming and you might be thinking to yourself how well does this stand up to other gaming monitors? Well I don't have any other gaming monitors to compare this to unfortunately but being 1080 and at 60 hertz it's not ideal for competitive gaming for your own personal use i think it's absolutely fine and the image looks fantastic i mean i connected this up to my playstation 4 pro and i know i'm not seeing a 4k image but i can still utilize the hdr setting and view hdr on this monitor and yes it does look very very nice even though it's not in 4k so in conclusion what do i think of this monitor well i have to say i think it's a very very nicely designed piece of kit it looks great having this thin bezel around the outside really makes that screen pop and stand out and it looks great sat here on my desk having the menu system and the buttons on the right hand side is very very simple and easy to use and you don't get too lost in different menu systems and settings and stuff and also having the hdr button on the front to turn it on and off is a very very good thing the built-in sensors to intelligently change the brightness and the color temperature of the screen as the ambient light changes in the room again is fantastic because it helps fight fatigue against your eyeballs and I think it's fair to say that this has been designed for the home office use. The people who sit in front of their screen for pretty much 8, 9, 10 plus hours every day and probably find a little bit of fatigue in the eyes and stuff. And for the price of only £225, I believe you get a lot of good features for not a lot of money. So, is this monitor for you? Well, you basically have to answer the question, what type of user are you? Are you someone who uses it as a home office and spends many, many hours staring at a screen every single day? Then yes, it probably is. But if you're a gamer or you want to watch 4K high-end type video, then no, probably not. So depending on who you are, kind of determines what type of monitor you're going to be after. And if you're actually after this monitor, BenQ have gave me a voucher code which offers you free delivery up until the 31st of December. All information will be in the description down below.
Also, if you're interested in knowing any more detail about this monitor, I will link a few websites in the description down below. So you can go over and check those out. And hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please smash a big fat thumbs up on today's video. And if you are new, thank you for coming over and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.